Hey everyone, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Welcome back, even, if we're thinking about it. Uh, today's Agreed Mode Day. It's an even number episode. So let's see who's left. Like, everybody, basically. Ah, too bad I already got Eden done. Uh, Maggie, though. Blue baby. Eve. Eve let's play Eve. Eve will work. Here's the seed, since I guess that kind of matters with greed mode. So, Eve has a nice start. Oof, beautiful. Eve has a nice start in that you can immediately activate Horde of Babylon, and it is no problem whatsoever. Key, but I can't get to it. Uh, so, of course, I can just waltz on into the curse room, no problem. Of course, the water is here. So, interesting way I can play this, actually, uh, is that I can do this. Activate this, and it should just not matter, because uh, I had Horde Babylon active this room. So all I have to do is just nothing, and I'll still have it active, but I won't have the health deficit for now. Uh, it's a good strat that I thought of on the fly just now. Should work out nicely. Uh, my first item was Synth Oil, which is one damage up and range up of some amount. So that's pretty cool, too. Can't be too disappointed with how things started. Uh, normally, I would say Tears Up is your most valuable first possible item. But this is going fine. My fire rate's pretty okay. Uh, my damage is, like, super pretty okay. Horde Babylon, by the way, when active, uh, specifically for Eve, is at 1.5 damage up, but it also changes her damage multiplier to 1.0, which is rather nice. Alright, don't, don't mind me. And it's still 0.3 speed up, same as normal. Uh, one heart instead of half a heart, specifically for Eve, like I think I said. I don't know, I'm losing my mind, probably. But I'm at least going to try and work on playing better than I have been. Come on. I haven't had a problem clearing the waves on time. One of my headphones fell out, because I'm going to have to mess with that a little bit. i uh, try and have it stay in. Uh, also, a patch just hit. I have no clue what's in it, because it was like you know, minutes ago, basically, not literally minutes ago, I watched a couple episodes of a show before recording. I'm recording this rather late, sorry, messing with the headphone. Uh, we'll be back shortly. We're going to buy a key. Uh, timing doesn't matter. I have to reactivate Horror of Babylon since I played it the safe way, which I'm going to do again, because there's at least one heart in here. All right, now maybe this headphone will stay in and my life will be much happier. Uh, so I don't actually care too much about any of these items, which is fine. Well, either of these items. Ah, Halo, excellent. All stats up, that's uh, 0.3 damage up, and then, you know, all stats up otherwise. Okay, let's just do this this way. Alright, so now we're gonna fight this dude, which is Steven. Oh, that's kinda cool. Don't fight Steven every day. So, of course, the dream is that I don't have to uh, deactivate the thing. Which looks like it should be a fine expectation. I think I'll be able to pull that off. Yeah, we're fine. So, I'm going to spend some money on the reroll machine. But first I'm going to go to the Devil Room, because at this point, I still have Horror Babylon active and health, uh, which I won't be able to do again because I don't have another Lover's card or anything of the sort. So let's just get this fight out of the way now. Go to the Devil Room and see what we've got going on things and stuff. Any good items? Krampus. Alright, that's fine. Krampus could give me a good item, or a uh, head of Krampus, which is less good, but still usable for something or other, I'm sure. Still preferably Lump of Coal. It's a much better item for me right now, and I got it. So that's uh, damage up and tier size up based on tier's distance traveled. Yeah, none of those three items... No, it wasn't neither. It was none, in fact. Uh, oh, wait, there are four. Jeez, I got, like, all the items, but I don't want any of them. Uh, D6 I consider pretty not great in greed mode at all. It's kind of useful, yes, but I just don't see a reason to spend 15 cents on it. When for the most part, you can get anything you need. Uh, I think that meat is a little less than optimally useful, but I do want that, which I believe does give me at least one soul heart, so I'm just going <clears> to <throat> reactivate this real quick. Buy this. Yeah, at least one soul heart. I would love that tears up, but I just, hey. And uh, Binky is a size down and 
definitely a tears up I have one soul heart I don't know if it's anything else and I don't know how much tears up yet I haven't looked to see what does and doesn't have numbers a number technically to match all that stuff and I'm one cent short of being able to buy a key on the next floor unless it's on sale which is unfortunate but okay uh, I would love to be able to buy that tears up I just can't so we're good to go on this floor we can get out of here We've got Horror of Babylon active. Uh, one of these might drop a coin, so I should take the time to shoot them. And this is actually a really good start. So now I can buy the key. Uh, that's why I shot those things. Wow, I'm having a lot of trouble getting into that trap door. But it is okay. Uh, that is Mom's box. All right, well, I want this first. And I actually don't care too much about any of those. That's pretty nice. Two flies, block tears, kill flies, don't damage enemies though. And then a speed up and a shot speed up. Probably 0.3 and 0.16 if I had to guess, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, now I would love to go... Okay, there is a reroll machine, that's what I was checking for. I would love to go to the curse room, but it's just not worth it right now. Maintaining Horror of Babylon and keeping the soul heart is far more important because the run's not going badly or anything. I don't need to take any risks to make sure things work out, because things are working out all right. So I'm gonna just keep doing that. All right. Everything's fine so far. I'm not running out of time. I think that one of the patches decreased the time you got for waves at least a little bit. But I don't think this one affected it. Because I felt like I was running out of time a lot more often. Which was a good thing, because it felt like I might have a reason to actually press the button. Also, if I didn't ever point this out in another episode before this, because it might I might not have noticed, or it might not have been in the last patch that I played for YouTube. Uh, the way they fixed the button thing, where you just stayed on it and it damaged you, was they just made it not reactivate until you walk off of it, which is perfect. That's like a fantastic fix. I want to buy none of this, really. Mom's box drops trinkets, by the way. Really? That's how you're going to play it? Alright, well, at least it... Wow. Okay, well, the thing about the uh, PJs, actually, is that they are full health, and there are no more blood donation machines in greed mode, because they broke the game more than everything else did. So while it is a bunch of soul hearts, I don't know if it's worth. So we'll, we'll think about it. And then probably decide to do it, because I'm, like, out of this soul heart. Ah, thank you for all the cash. I'm totally fine just fighting sins here. Everything's going well with that. Except that I got hit on greed. I don't know, I'm really considering PJs. It's like full health and four, four soul hearts. That's a lot. PhD is two red hearts of recovery. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the red hearts. That's the problem. Okay, here's the way we play this. I can come back for the PJs after this wave. I shouldn't die or anything in this wave. It should be fine. Okay, we cleared everything. We spawn more, but that's fine. All good. I'm doing a lot of damage, which is why I feel pretty comfortable right now. Then hopefully, god dang it, Angel Room's really, really bad. Golden heart, by the way, uh, tags on them with your highest up heart. And when you lose it, it drops a bunch of money. Okay, nice, that's free. Bunch of money. So, yeah, my problem is I don't want full health, but I really want the soul hearts. Uh, I'm going to re-roll it, hopefully into something else that, you know, helps. Uh, wafer is just worth buying. All uh, damage is now half a heart, no matter what. Can't take full hearts of damage. And that lets us go. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Now time to check out these first two rooms once again. Excellent. Death's touch. 1.5 damage up. 0.3 tiers down. And larger tier hitbox with piercing tiers. And then that is 1 damage up and a 0.2 devil room chance increase. It doesn't... I don't really... Are those spinning slower than usual? Because it really seems like it. Anyway, I don't need a three cent key. At the same time, it's almost like smart to just buy it. I'm still not going to. It'll be fine. 
I'm just, it's like, it might be, honestly be smart to just buy it. But I might not, like, I don't know, we'll see if I end up with all the keys just naturally. Doing so much damage. Thanks for being great greed mode. Greed mode's really easy to me. Like, that that's my opinion of it. Uh, and, like, when you had blood donation machines, and even to an extent now, it just breaks itself. You don't have to, like, try to break it. It just ends up broken. This is actually... Oh, I thought there were two Gerties. Gertie Juniors, that is. Uh, if, if there had been, I would say that would be one of the tougher things that I could get, but it's actually pretty much a totally fine fight when it's just one. And then this shouldn't be bad either. And we will check out the Devil Room because I didn't take any damage or anything. Again, please be an Angel Room instead of a Devil Room. Are there really four Envies right now? Dang! That's brutal! It's supposed to take like an hour, but I have piercing, so it's fine. Uh, it wouldn't actually be bad. As long as you follow the standard Envy strat of focus one down, clear all of the parts of one at a time, and then you're fine. It's not a big deal. Hey, we actually got a Devil Room, but it didn't have any uh, health trades. So that sucks. Paralysis. Why is he saying stuff now? I didn't say anything. What the heck? Is this an option yet? No, no it is not. What is going on? I am so confused. Uh, I am gonna take Chaos. That lets any item show up in any pool. Nah. Okay, technically Relic is like a really big pickup and I will make it just to be smart. Uh, and then I guess I'll just get out of here because I'm kind of stuck with that. Since the Relic's gonna give me a bunch of health, I will take this. Removes the Floor Curse and gives me a Soul Heart, so I'll get my Soul Heart back, it'll all be fine. Relic will drop a Soul Heart for me every few waves. Uh, two to five rooms, so I assume it's the same for waves. Curse the Lost, Oh dang, I can't see the map. Oh right, I don't have a key. Waited to see if I would get a cheap key here, but I did not, and that is okay. Uh, I have a bomb, so I might get a Steam Sale from these dudes means I will blow them up to check. It happens. Although often enough you get two coins, which is also very good. Cube of meat, huge. Third orbital, which is extra nice. Oh, mom's contact's really OP in greed mode unless they fixed it. Uh, which apparently it was intentional, so... And I'll say what it is, just a second. Anyway, cube of meat blocks tears, contact damage to enemies. Uh, seven per hit. Really good. Uh, mom's contact's chance to shoot a tear that freezes enemies which is real good, and what's OP about it is that against uh, Hush and Ultra Greed, which have scaling DPS based on, like, they scale your DPS so that you can't kill them too fast. I love how the dude just didn't appear until time ran up. It was a good form. Uh, yeah, so they scale your DPS so you can't do too much damage at once, but freezing them, that's with Mom's Contact in this case, but also, like, Midas Touch, completely cancels their DPS scaling. So you can just totally destroy them instantly, really easily. Because, you know, just, you know, invalidate their mechanic, that's cool. But, I'm gonna take advantage of that, of course. Only makes sense to. Game offers me an exploit. I won't always take it, but there are some exploits that just don't make sense not to take. And then some that are that don't make sense not to take that I won't take because they're just dumb. But this isn't one of them. And this isn't even one I have control over besides don't take it at all, I guess. Just don't take the item. But the item's too good for the rest of the stuff. I'd have been fine without it, I guess. I'm surprised I'm doing damage here. I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it to just skip it for the fact that they apparently intentionally cause it to break the boss. Bosses. Oh, what the heck? I thought I killed it. That was weird. Thanks for the soul heart. I'm fighting two Mr. Freds. What the heck? I just realized this right now. That is not something I knew could happen. You can also fight the heart, though. It's really cool. Even when you have It Lives unlocked, you'll still fight the heart. Uh, if it wants you to. You can also fight It Lives, apparently. But just a cool thing going on in the world. 
maximum damage for maximum distance, of course. Yeah, it's not gonna work out for you, buddy. Alrighty. See if there's anything to... <laughs> no, why would I think that would ever happen? This actually happens to me almost every time in greed mode. It's really weird. I pretty much never get anything that I can trade health for. And I don't know why. And I pretty much never get items. I don't even... I might have seen an item in an angel room two times. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't understand it. And yeah, I could be taking some good items here, but really I'm just seeing what's up. Because then I could get holy light. And then I should stop spending money because I want to put away as much into the greed machine as I can. Uh, so holy light, chance to shoot one of those blue tiers. If a blue tier hits an enemy, it causes a beam to come down on that enemy. It destroys them. It's really OP. It's a super good item. And it is absolutely going to destroy uh, ultra greed given the... Oh, nice. Perfect. Given the build we have. Oh, thanks, Chaos, for giving me breakfast there. Alright, so this lets me destroy my tiers, have them explode into other tiers. Once per room. Wow, screw that. So as you can see, it's kind of cool. And then these guys, like, might not show up if they don't feel like it. Alright, so thank goodness we're done with them. It seems like it'll be useful for some stuff, at the very least. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. You know, I've never really used it extensively. I basically used it for testing in the one room that I pick it up and then I drop it again. Don't have to worry about soul hearts, that's for sure. Oh, that's nice. Oh, did not see what I was fighting against. So I didn't know that that would happen. It's alright, sometimes you take damage. It's like there's health for a reason or something. I am to not take damage, but sometimes it just happens. Oops, I should have realized that would happen. Not worrying about the damage intake too much. Should be fine. Okay. Can't really hit him with the beams of light when he's charging, unfortunately. Is that three wretched? Yeah. That's not a big deal, though. Wretched's a really, really low health boss. And with piercing tears, I just should shred all of them like I did. Not a problem. Alright, angel room again. Oh, what a surprise, no item in it. I never would have guessed. I really love angel rooms, you know. They made them worse in uh, the update. Like, 100% they made them worse. I don't know how or why, but they did. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about stuff. I don't need any more stuff. I just need to save money for the donation machine. That is what I need to do. So why I'm even checking in here? I don't know, you got me. In fact, let's do the smartest thing. Blow this up with my one bomb. Blow this up with my other one bomb. And I still have one bomb left, so I guess uh, I'll do nothing with it. Should be great. All right, fight time. Need to pick that up. It's pretty useful to have. Wow. Definitely didn't have time for that whole super envy fight. And I have a good build. I guess that wave just wants you to have to cancel it. Which is cool, I like that. I like, I'm, I want to have to strategically cancel waves, which sometimes you do. Uh, you know, I've done it a couple times, but just a couple times, not frequently. So that's, it's a work in progress. They're improving the game. I hope that eventually greed mode will be a good deal more difficult. While still being pretty fair. Which it is. It's, like, super fair. So all it needs is some challenge. Okay, so how much you guys want to bet that I, uh, get 10 cents or less in the machine? 
Because that's what I'm figuring will happen. That's how I'm seeing this going down. There's Polycephalus. I was going to say that's one and that's two. Right, that was nice. Good effective use. Oh, good. They're overlapping. I don't think that there are possible dodges in that whole thing. Besides just having orbitals. This one, though, that's totally possible. And I still managed to get hit. So that's what I hate about the fight when they go under and then don't show up for a while. Just really don't know where they're going to be. But it's fine. Oh, look, I can trade health for an item that I don't want at all. This is how Devil Rooms and Angel Rooms tend to go for me in Breed Mode. I really feel that. It's like a totally standard way for this run to go. And that's fine. Now we can fight Ultra Breed. Oh! It wasn't Monstro! Uh, nice super greed. Thanks for the money. I really didn't see that coming, so I just walked right into him. Okay, so let's see if they fix the freezing thing. They might have, in fact. Alright, so the hearts don't matter. There's really no reason to shoot them. They barely heal him relative to your DPS. Looks like they might have fixed that. The keys, however, are kind of important. Less so than uh, since I have... Oh, those are fast. Less so since I have piercing and these guys have low health but still something to take note of. Like, I could just ignore all of them and keep shooting the boss, but it wouldn't help me very much. Because apparently I have a DPS such that, wow, those are activating fast. That makes the fight more interesting, uh, which is good, because the fight was super boring, in my opinion. Uh, this is a very uninteresting fight for the most part, previously. Because you don't really have to dodge anything. That's still kind of the case. And you spend a lot of your time shooting stuff that isn't the boss because that's the stuff that you're forced to shoot. So I, I'm not a huge fan. But at least it seems like there's... I'm getting hit here. There's more going on. Uh, that causes you to at least want to move. We're getting there slowly. There he is. Mm, it might still cancel out the DPS scaling. Which is good. Okay, bombs are like the most preferable. Because for the most part, you don't have to worry about them at all. Uh, heat or hearts are fine too. Wow, I had no chance to do anything. That's kind of a problem if you don't have a really stupidly good build like I do. And actually, this build's kind of on the low end of good for greed mode. I just have piercing with decent damage, that's all. I don't have like a really good build. Still, they're not given a lot of time for those to activate, which seems like it could cause a lot of problems that you're just not prepared for. But then again, I did stop purchasing things really early in the run just because it was already powerful enough looking for a challenge. Hmm, I don't know. Getting a feel for the balance slowly. Uh, I think it's better. But we'll have to see when I get an actually, like, not great build. And we'll see just how good the fight is. Like, those activate super immediately. Which I guess that just means they want you to fight the stuff. They want you to actually have to deal with the problems that those entail. Which is more interesting, I guess, than shooting them. And it makes it so that it's okay that it's not worth shooting a couple of them at all. For any reason. Now you don't have to try shooting any of them. You just let it go. So what's going to happen is going to happen. I'm down for that. Obviously, though, it's just bad RNG if you get keys. And it, it was before, too. Now it's just a little worse. The other two still kind of don't matter. And honestly, I really don't want them to make the health ones matter because that would be really, really annoying to deal with. Would you be canceling out your DPS with nothing you can do about it at this rate? Alright, let's see what it wants to let me do. Two percent, three percent. Is that break chance? Because that's a cool stat if it's there. 
I like that. Ah. So I got, I still got like 30 something in there, which is really good. Uh, can't do anything with that, right? And then this actually breaks out. Oh, I'm out of bombs. All right, it's fine. Uh, we got it done. Slowly, but surely. Okay, so one more, I suppose. This time, actually, let's clear it out with some lost attempts. Lost greed actually didn't take me very long. I'm not going to show seeds because it's just going to be a ton of constant resetting. Tears up's good, but not, you know, not starting worthy. So Lost now has Spectral Tears and uh, the D4, which allows you to reroll your build. I rolled into Sissy, that's fine. So I want to check here. Listen for the sound of a key dropping. If it does, uh, then I actually check it out. One damage up. And there's no protection here, not worth That was a coin, not a key. And I just reroll the first item or two, uh, if it's worth rerolling. Well, it's worth rerolling. You know. Still nothing. So basically, it's like playing the Lost regularly. With Spectral Tears, this is really good. Problem is, I'm not going to get to shoot through the rocks very much if this doesn't register as shooting through the rocks. So, you know, heart, box, so I will start one run no matter how long it takes. Obviously a respawn doesn't help me at all, oh, that was actually a key. So we get to check two items for rerolls now, which is nice. Some items, by the way, don't count uh, as part of your build when you reroll, but they still give you an item. Ooh. All right, then. Ooh. All right, well, we're going to go for this because I get an all stats up, which includes a 1.5 damage multiplier. That's real good. Magnet sucks, but I'm not going to reroll the build, so we're stuck with it. Unless I get really lucky, of course, and, like, find Cricket's head. In which case, I guess I'll reroll after all because I can get a 1.5 damage multiplier again. Magneto's real annoying, but it's not going to matter. It doesn't affect anything for me right now. So by the way, uh, the Lost can press the button again for free. I could just go hit the button every wave, fight one wave of enemies at a time with no risk of running out of time. That's not worth it. Namely because you get more money if you don't reset the waves. So I'm trying to maximize my money so that I can maximize the amount of stuff I can buy. Get more items. Get more stuff done. Okay, those fires do hurt me. I need to remember that. I'm used to the fires not hurting me. So I want to have that not happen. But yeah, I want to maximize my money intake so that I can buy stuff when I see it instead of having to wait at any point. Unless I can cancel waves, the better. That's a little worrisome. But it'll be okay. And it's the last wave, so this time I don't have to worry about uh, taking my time, killing everything as safely as possible. I think if I have a close episode and I haven't finished the last thing, uh, I'll just do that now. Okay, so I don't want any of this. I don't want those either. And I don't want those. Not gonna bother. Can't go into the cursed room. Uh, Devil Room items are going to be free, but this is the first boss wave, so it doesn't really help me yet. Boss wave, it's probably worth canceling, but I should be able to kill Pin quickly, so I shouldn't have to worry. In fact, Pin should die about now. Ooh, this is a mess. I keep worrying that those uh, tears are going to hit me through the thing. This wave, I don't have to worry about timing. That's no concern. Okay, one dead. Fine. That should hit me, honestly. I do have a larger hitbox from the magic mushroom. That was overzealous. All right, let's 
let's take a couple more rerolls. Better build I can get, the better. Halo for all stats up seems worth enough. PJ's absolutely worthless. Okay, there's nothing up here that's good. Want to kill these dudes quickly. Uh, Polycephalus went underground, I'm sure. So this is where I get concerned. I really hate Polycephalus and the stain going underground and not popping up quickly. That's when they just kind of pop out and can totally destroy my life. Now that happens here and there. If you get close to them, they tend to pop up, though. And as long as you're careful, it works out. Please give me good items to steal. Because Lost gets Devil Room items for free. Uh, sadly, the contract from below does not work in greed mode unless they just patched it. And Dead Bird is literally worthless because there's no way I can ever get hit uh, for that to count. So, it's time to go. As I believe this is not a three cent key. We get to get out of here. Oh boy, it's meaner than it usually is with the enemy spawns here. Usually they're just free one-hit enemies. Alrighty. Perfect. And we can go. Well, not perfect because I wanted money from those, of course, but, you know, it's perfect. Nothing killed me. And I like not being killed. Alright, none of those are on sale. Gotta shoot all these just in case and then shoot the fires. That's what I'm talking about. And there is not a reroll machine, unfortunately. So I'm kind of stuck with what I've got here. I don't really think either of those items is worth it. Little haunt should be fine. Health up, it's just something if I decide to reroll. Unfortunately, staying on top of the, or even near the uh, mushrooms is not safe at all. Staying on the gap should be okay. Gaps, unfortunately, don't block tears, though. So I like, I, when possible, would like to stay over a rock. A rock is the optimal place where I can't really get hit, but I can still hit things. Of course, I am pretty fast. I've gotten two all stats ups. I shouldn't have a problem dodging anything, really. Now, these guys, I don't like very much right now. Be fine. Little haunt, uh, can fear stuff, by the way. Alright, buddy. Just don't get hit. Which so far is going pretty well. I haven't been hit. Pretty much all you can ask for in life. Uh, there's a the point. It's really not worth rerolling my build. I'm in a good place. Uh, what sucks, of course, is that I'm stuck with bad items there. Oh, that almost uh, destroyed my life. Uh, Greed is a boss that I'm really likely to get hit during. Quite, uh, quite a common occurrence, I would say. I don't know why Greed is... Oh, little haunt's doing its thing. Okay, we're good. Blighted Ovum. Also a boss that I'm usually not unlikely to get hit during but in this case I should be fine there's really no risk involved in this fight uh, tall room makes it a joke all right let's see what's in our double room Gertie jr. shouldn't be a problem just stay on my gap I have no issues whatsoever nothing should destroy a mushroom mushroom so I could even hide on them for a better angle but it's just not worth it still Gertie jr. is not giving me any angles so I Got to be a little aggressive for now. All right. So, Devil Room, what do you got? Cramp is kind of not surprising. And I just walked right into it. I'm dumb. That's fine. That was really stupid damage. I'm like, no excuse for that. But that's okay. That's going to clear us out for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.